Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Roto's Questions and what will be the first episode for 2016. So let's get right into it. My topic that I want to talk about today is question everything. I feel this is a very important topic as we should be questioning everything that we're told. So I want to start with a quote by Voltaire. Judge a man by his questions rather than by his answers. And so the meaning of this quote to me is that you can learn a lot more about someone by what they question and what they want to learn about than by what, by what they already know. So there's three topics that I want to talk about today. Three points that I want to make in this video. And the first one is that facts are only facts until something else comes along to prove it wrong. Secondly is that one of the main reasons why we don't question everything is because of our belief in authority. And the third reason, the third point I want to talk about is how change is the most constant thing in the universe. All right, the first topic, the first point that I want to make is that facts are only facts until something else comes along and proves it wrong. And so what do I mean by this? A perfect example is science. Science is all just theory. Nothing is actually 100% proven and true. And so one example of this is that I want to give is how back in the day people used to believe that the sun revolved around the earth. And this was accepted as fact and the truth. And then someone named Galileo Galilei came along one day and was like, hey guys, you know, I don't think this is actually true. And actually, I think that the earth revolves around the sun. So he then proved that this was true and now this is accepted as fact. Another example I want to give is that prior to 1992, scientists didn't have any proof that there were any planets outside of our solar system. And we now know here in 2016 with all the technology and stuff that, we've ha that we have nowadays that this just simply isn't true. And we actually know that there's actually billions of galaxies billions of planets outside of our own galaxy. And the third third example I want to give is that a lot of people, a lot of religious people believe that the earth is only 6,000 years old and they use the Bible as proof of this. And nowadays we just know that this simply isn't true. I mean, one huge example I can think of off the top of my head is dinosaurs and dinosaur fossils that are millions and millions of years old. And another more recent example is there's been some ancient ruins discovered in Turkey in the last few years named Gobleki Tepe, which have been dated to 9000 BC. So that's 11,000 years ago, almost twice as old as people believe the Earth to be. So the second point I want to make today is about authority and why people don't question authority. So what is authority? To me, authority is something that does not and cannot exist because the definition of authority is the right to rule over others. So it means that a certain group of people have the right to rule over another certain group of people. And this just can't exist. I mean, how can someone else have the right to tell someone else what to do and when to do it? Or at the same time, how can someone else tell you what is right and wrong or what is true and false? when truth is based on perception and to me there is no ultimate truth. And one reason why authority is not, why we should question authority is because authority figures lie. We all know that authority figures are prone to lying and are prone to corruption. So let me go back to the example I gave about the sun revolving around the earth. One of the biggest proponents of this theory was the Catholic Church. And even though they knew it was not true, they told everybody that it was. And they were even known to murder people that contradicted this theory. So that being the case, that goes to show right there that we can't trust authority. Also, the church, back in the day, in the 19th century, I believe it was, they tried to destroy certain translations of Egyptian hieroglyphs that would have suggested that the earth was older than 6,000 years old. So it just, again, goes to show that we can't always trust figures in positions of authority and that authority does not care about the truth. All they care about is about keeping power. 
Moving on to my third point, I want to show that change is the most constant thing in the universe. So we've seen how theories that are known as fact today can be disproven the next day. And so one example that I want to give about how change is the most constant thing in the universe is that we all know that in our bodies, cells are dying and new ones are being born all the time. Like this is happening literally every second. And so our skeletal structure, meaning our bones, replace themselves every three months. Our brain regenerates itself every two months, and the entire human body regenerates itself every five to seven years. And this is right down to every single atom in our body. This is pretty crazy stuff. So that means even ourselves and our bodies are always changing. We're not the person we were two months ago, five months ago or even 20 years ago. We're not the same. We're constantly changing. So everything is always changing, and that includes the truth, because our perceptions and our knowledge base is always changing as well. So in conclusion, I believe that everyone should question everything they are told. I've shown how facts that we believe today can be proven wrong tomorrow. I've also shown that the places of authority where we get these facts are prone to lying and corruption. I've also shown that change is the most constant thing in the universe and everything is constantly changing and this includes the truth. So make sure that you're always learning and just as importantly, make sure to be able to entertain the idea that what you think you know could be totally wrong. I want to end with a quote by Bill Cooper. Read everything, listen to everybody, but believe nothing unless you can back it up with your own research. So until next time, guys, stay free physically, mentally, and spiritually.